Okay, please confirm if you can see the screen. Good morning, Hi. students. So morning. today we are going to study uh, on the continuation in topic that was note taking. I have told you something about note taking. What was that and its introduction and how you should prepare. Now, in continuation in this part two, I'm going to explain you some more uh, methods of taking the notes and how it is very useful when you are doing the research and when you are simply taking a class or you are simply reading a book and how the notes should be noted down. So let's understand it again uh, with a revision sort of that there are some strategies to increase comprehension and improve note taking. So students just remember that whenever you are taking the notes you have to be very particular about that because you cannot note down each and every one every word is not possible to note down so in that case what you are going to use firstly you use symbols and abbreviations symbols are used to uh, denote a particular mark to a particular concept or a word that is repeatedly being used in the um, chapter or the book reading or the lecture so it is actually giving you uh, some signals that it uh, it means that an abbreviation uh, is also something uh, like uh, which is giving you short form so it is not possible each and every time to write down all the words again and again. So develop a system of symbol and abbreviation, some personal, some from your courses. So be consistent when using symbols and abbreviations. These were the symbols that we discussed earlier. So just have a look on this. That's greater, equivalent to EG at all, C18, and then less than, positive, read, G, N, plus, minus, N, B, C, A, I, E, person, C, F, V, S, and E, T, C, M. So these are all useful abbreviation which actually saves your time. So uh, just have a look on this that uh, you, it is very useful when we are using them in our um, note making preparation. Now, abbreviations, some common abbreviations may, are derived from Latin language and these are some like CF that means confer or to compare and then IE that is aidest that is EG example of grade. So, learn the full form also for example, NB nota ben, nota will. Then abbreviations are related to discipline specific abbreviation in chemistry specific subjects related AU for coal, MG for magnesium in the case of quantities and concepts these are represented by Greek letters in many fields A or A for alpha, B or B for beta. So these are abbreviations that are really very important from the point of view of the taking notes. Now, some personal abbreviations are also there, students, which you can actually um, create your own. Like different, I'm not going to use it, write this word and again and again in my notes. So, I'm writing D-I-F-F. That means that uh, I'm, I denote this meaning different. Government, that is G-O-V, necessary, that is N-E-C, and many more other words which you think that are really important abbreviations you must use. Now, these are the things that, uh, second thing which I'm going to discuss with, with you today in detail that use concept maps and diagrams while taking notes. You can set down information in a concept map or diagram. What is concept map? Concept map or diagram is something that is giving you some important piece of information in a very sequence way. You can draw arrows, you can make circles, you can make dialogue box and then, then you can present your information in visual form. And it is like unlike the traditional linear form of note taking that you are writing down and then you are giving uh, some sort of clues or answers to it. So information can be added to the concept map in any sequence. So 
uh, this is very really very interesting also when you draw a map and then you when you give the visual treat to your eyes uh, about an information then that uh, information is supposed to be uh, like learnt more in a effective way so use concept maps and diagrams while uh, taking the notes from any um, uh, reading uh, type or any lecturing type so you can do this then use concept maps and diagrams begin in the middle of the page you you should not uh, start at the above or at the last so start with the middle of the page and add ideas on branches that radiate from the central idea or from previous branches so this is something that you are if making something in circles or making something in uh, squares or any type of shape which you are choosing so start better ideal way is to start from the middle of the page then arrows and words can be used to show links between parts of the concept map so this is very important to draw the concept map and i really hope from all of you to draw the concept map of a, of your any mm, content and it will really give you good ideas and good learning capacity from uh, your concept colors and symbols are important parts of concept maps these are very important you can highlight you can give light colors highlight to your concepts or your symbols and which are helping illustrating ideas and triggering your own thoughts also i have always been telling you students to take care of this thing that when you are taking note down something you are noticing down something and you are just writing so don't include your teacher's voice only or you don't include your books words only you add your own ideas and thoughts also so that it will enhance your own learning all uh, in a very fine way that means what you have understood from that particular concept so see this is the way underwater cameras that uh, yesterday we discussed about it and now regular amphibious and this is the concept map or diagram which we can say you can say arrows have been denoted to uh, the words and this is actually giving us the clear ideas that regular underwater cameras are need special housing and then uh, if you are talking about amphibious underwater cameras and then these are of two types Nik nikonos and snapshots then nikonos uh, works on lenses and so this is the so on concept framing or concept mapping in your mind so this is a wonderful idea to note down your important things when you actually learn something so at the time of exam at the time of revisions uh, you will be very comfortable when you are just looking at the, these concept maps or diagrams and you will be easily understanding the concepts in a fine way now see these are another uh, in this way also you can make a circle and then you can draw the lines and you, then you can make it so this is entirely up to you students in what way you are actually drawing the concept maps or diagrams so it is uh, it is actually dependent on your creativity and productivity also so how you are making it more beautiful and it is observed that girls do more better in that case and they just put up more beautiful colors and they just make more beautiful uh, uh, marks on that so this is something that you must include in your uh, notes preparation now let's talk about note taking system definitely we are talking about a note taking system which is note take what is note taking system so there are some beautiful methods which i'm going to discuss with you the first of all is cornell method cornell method c o r n e double l so this is cornell method and students it provides a systematic format for condensing and organizing notes without uh, any laborious recopying it means you are not copying down everything what is your uh, what you are listening or maybe what you are reading so without any laborious recopying you are organizing your notes see why we are you uh, preparing the notes we are preparing the notes just to systematize and condense our uh, 
notes or concept in a very good way so after writing the notes in the main space use the left hand space, uh, space to label each idea and detail with a keyword or a cue so this is the play this is the method which is given by cornell just read more about it cornell method is something like rule your paper with a two and a half inch margin on the left leaving a six inch area on the uh, right in which to make notes and then during the class it means you have to make it a margin two and a half inch margin on the left and six inch area on the right it means this is you are what you are feeling that is uh, doing that is cornell method and now during class take down information in the six inch area whatever the important information you are getting in the classroom you note down in the six inch area understand students again i am repeating it that there is one paper and in margin side you just keep two and a half inch margin and then right side uh, six inch area so in uh, class during the class when you are receiving the lecture you are going to uh, write down each and every important information in six inch area okay so when the instructor moves to your new point skip a few lines and then skip a few lines to maybe two lines or three lines whatever you feel you feel uh, nice according to your vision also so after class complete phrases and sentences as much as possible because we leave the lines if something is left from the lecture you can just uh, fill the missing parts after the class for every significant bit of information write a cue in the left margin now when you are having some piece of information with you which was delivered to you by your uh, teacher now after the class what two and a half inch margin we have left you just write down in the left thing so to review cover your notes with a card leaving the cues exposed say the cue loud out loud and then you can ma just maintain the material underneath the card when you are actually reading them so this is the cornell method and cornell method tells you to just divide the page uh, left side two and a half inch and right side around six inch area and during the class note down important piece of information in six inch area and then skip some lines so that if anything important is going on in the class you just think that it is very very important for me and now i will write down um, later on so students just remember that when you are taking uh note down of everything so you are actually preparing beautiful notes for your presentation okay now next is the cornell method has some advantages also you are taking notes in your own style but students it is very important to know the advantages also and uh, something you must understand in a theoretical way also so advantages are organized and systematic for recordings and reviewing notes it is very very important at the time of examination that student must have a proper organized system of notes and whatever the important concepts have learned throughout the semester or the year now it is organized in a very good way so cornell method is an easy format for pulling out major concepts and ideas simple and efficient and it saves time and effort do it right in the first place system so whatever you are catching from your teacher by listening you just write down you just do it in a right way in the first place system and i don't think there was any disadvantage of this cornell method and it was really fine and when to use it it is used in any lecture any class time you can use this cornell method and believe me it is really very effective when you are using cornell method for notes preparation now next students we are going to discuss about outline method what is outline methods let's let's discuss it outline you must be understanding a uh, dash or intended outline is usually best except for some science classes such as physics or maths so outline is doing some
something uh, when you are actually framing a piece of information into a line you are drawing line okay this is very important so the information which is most general begins at the left with each more specific of facts intended to with spaces to write so start from the left outline you have to group of facts you have to given one by one one two three four you have to give yes group of facts one one group is having so many facts so you have to just outline that then the relationship between the different part is carried out through indenting now students understand it in a, in this way that when we outline uh, our notes that means one concept is having many sub concepts or many sub points so in that case we are outlining that group then next group so we are establishing a relationship between different parts of the chapter and in that way we are outlining that now how it is done you just see that listening uh, when you are listening in the classroom <clears throat> and then write in points in an organized pattern based on space indention indent is here when we are indent uh, uh, those uh, students who are working on computers they must be knowing what is indent and it is used for just uh, making the proper uh, margin of content what you ever write so place major points for this to the left whatever is very very important major point you just write down at the left side and then indent each more specific point to the right so most important left and then little more little um, least important that is right so levels of importance will, will be indicated by distance away from major point so when you are outlining something then whatever you have written at the left side so when you are going to read your uh, notes then you will be definitely having the clear idea these are some important points very important that i'm not going to miss and explanation are the some important joining things of that particular point you are giving in the right side so this is somehow you are labeling the indentions with your numerals or your um, something you are giving number to them one two three or you are writing in no roman numbers one two three four five or you are giving um alphabetical order like a b c d so in that way outlining method is very important now what are the advantages of outlining method students so let's understand that what what is what are the advantages definitely if you are talking about um, note taking method so outlining method is very important it is a well organized system if done in a right way so done in a right way is very important term for all of you so outlining records content as well as relationship it also it reduces editing and is easy to review by turning main points into question now after taking the notes from your particular concept what you are listening from a, your teacher during the class if you are adopting outlining method how in outlining method it is understood that if the student has done it in a right way then outlining records content as well as as the relationship it establishes relationship between various parts of the chapter you are going to study on that particular day so what happens students if you are doing it then and there it is actually reducing your effort of editing in the last and is easy to review by turning main points into questions so whatever you have noted down as your main points now you are easily comfortable uh, from your side to just uh, frame your own questions so don't we think like that okay exam uh, in exam this this thing can be asked in this way 
so this is the uh, advantage of outline method now there are uh, definitely um, if you are talking advantage outlining method has some disadvantage also it requires more thought in the class for accurate organization that means it is time consuming when your teacher is teaching and you are outlining your thoughts all the time you are just grouping one content in sub groups and some main points then it is requiring more thought process and if any student is lacking that thought process then how can he or, he or she can outline the um, notes in systematic way so the system may not show relationship by sequence when needed so it doesn't lead to the diversity of a review attached with it so just remember students outlining method is a beautiful method if it isn't done in a right way okay when to use the outline format can be used if the lecture is presented in outline organization this may be either deductive regular outline or inductive reverse outline where minor points start building to a major point so use this format when there is enough time in the lecture in between you have a lot of time to think about and make organization decisions when they are needed so this format students very effective most effective when your note taking skills are sh superb sharp and you are ready to outline regardless of note taking situation whatever the situation is there you are perfectly happy with that and you are just organizing your content in a beautiful way so just remember when to use this can be used during the lecture but remember if you are having a lot of time and the content is having scope of outlining everything now students let's understand about another method that is mapping method firstly we had seen about con concept mapping now this is mapping method and this is little different and mapping is a method students that uses comprehension or concentration skills your attention skills and evolves in a note taking form which relates each factor idea to every other factor idea whatever you are writing it is connecting with another idea also so you are not losing everything it means you are not keeping loose and you are just holding your content very tight by uh, just connecting each facts with each other okay so mapping is a graphical presentation of the content of a lecture and it is a method that maximizes active participation and affords immediate knowledge uh, whatever you are getting from your lecture on that particular day so mapping method just understand it is a graphical method number 2 it is actually connecting all the facts each idea with each other so you are not leaving anything in loose point and everything you are holding tight when you are using mapping method of your note taking now students let's have uh, so many advantages of mapping method and how it is helping you when you are taking notes so this format helps you to visually track your lecture regardless of any condition when you are graphically watching any things and then it is actually giving you a very a good visual treat to you about any concept so little thinking is needed no do you don't need to think so much you just write down some important terms and then just draw the diagram in the way you want to and the relationship can easily be established okay then another advantage it is also easy to edit your notes by adding numbers marks color coding so if you are keep on adding then your uh, diagrams then your graphical presentation is also edited so it is uh, the advantages uh, of mapping method that you are always free to edit something in that in your own way then next advantage we are talking about that review will call for you to restructure thought processes which will force you to check understanding now you have noted down from a ma mapping method 
and after the class when you see those uh, graphs or mapping uh, of your notes then you just uh, include your own thoughts by that time and then you just reprocess your thought process restructuring is very very important whatever your teacher has taught you are thinking now in a different way okay teacher has taught me this and now i'm going to check my understanding on the level of this so this is very important students now review by covering lines for memory drill and relationship so everything you are doing for the sake of drill relationship is very very important whatever the content variable is there you are establishing relationship and in your research also you will be doing that and another beautiful uh, advantage we can discuss that main points can be written on flash or note cards and pieced together into a table or a larger structure at a later date when i want to edit my mapping method notes then i can just add a date later on and then review it and then i can again make uh, that beautiful so whatever the main points are there just write on the flash or note cards you are using that okay this color is denoted to this this uh, symbol is denoted to this uh, all the important piece of information you are arranging on a card or flash card now students uh, i have uh, some to discuss a uh, disadvantage also you may not hear changes in content from major points to facts so there are some chances that when you have note down everything so you are not going to have content from major points to facts so it is not easily possible all the time to add it and just really uh, structure your uh, notes all the time for after the thought process so this is a disadvantage which i wanted to tell you so now the mapping method when to use again use when the lecture content is very heavy that means a lot of information is being delivered by the teacher on that particular day and it is all again well organized may also be used effectively when you have a guest lecturer and have no idea how the lecture is going to be rep represented so just map this and just write down the important points in that way and you just denote some graphical presentation to that note area so this is about mapping method and this is the way how it is written and uh, now extra sensory perception uh, this is of three types this is mapping method students i have given graphical presentation of it and it is very clear now when i have given bullets you can see three types telepathy clairvoyance psychokinesis so these are the three types of extra sensory perceptions you can see from my presentation and when i have given bullet one sending messages maybe in the heavy uh, loaded information lecture i have another bullet so i will be continuing with those bullets and with the mapping method i will just keep on adding more 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 so basically i have got three major areas that are telepathy clairvoyance and psychokinesis so these are the three major areas in which my teacher my lecturer my guest lecturer is actually speaking so i'm going to fill that important information accordingly okay so this is about mapping method now another very important method of note taking is charting method so what is charting is preparing some charts related to that so if the lecture format is distinct such as chronological one after another like in history it happens so one after another something is going on in a chronological manner you may set up your paper by drawing columns and labeling appropriate headings in a table so students just remember the charting means that you are actually charting uh, everything um the whatever is very very important and if the lecture format is distinct as a chronological like 1 2 3 4 5 so this is chronological and if uh, 
some sequence of history is given like 1857 uh, revolution then what after that and then what after that you are following some time uh, line and then you may set up your paper drawing columns and labeling appropriate headings in our table so this is charting method and how this method is used uh, just check uh, see that you determine the categories to be covered in the lecture you just fix the categories that okay this these are the categories my lecturer is going to pick up in today's lecture set up your paper in advance by columns headed by those chart you have to make so you have to make chart by setting up your own columns in, on a paper as you listen to the lecture record information words phrases main ideas into the appropriate categories you have made so this is the charting method and advantages of charting method it helps you track conversation and dialogues where you would normally be confused and lose out on relevant content you you don't miss anything you track conversation one by one step by step maybe date wise date or year wise year so you are not confused you would normally be confused if you don't lose out on relevant content so it reduces your amount of writing necessary things and it provides <clears throat> easy review mechanism for both memorization of facts and study of comparisons and relationship so these are the advantages that when, when I'm making a chart student so it is very 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 fruitful for me that I'm easily able to draw the conclusion from my chart maybe I'm establishing a classification maybe I'm differentiating so these are some advantages which is uh, actually um, given to you by charting method of note taking but let's have a look on disadvantage also. So few disadvantages except learning how to use the system. It is very important that how you are using charting method. So if it is done in a right way students, it is very, very fruitful. But how you are using it and are you prepared uh, prepared with that uh, system of charting method or are you uh, just preparing the correct categories before the lecture if you are not preparing the correct categories with columns then how can you note down important points so you must be able to understand what is happening in the lecture and that is only possible with the good concentration level okay so this is about uh, advantages and disadvantages now let's have a look on how to use or when to use uh, the charting method test will focus on both facts and relationship charting method is focuses on facts and relationship i have three important categories and when i'm making a chart it is easily understood by me that what facts are covering from which category so content is heavy and presented fast when your teacher is presenting any content that is having so many sub points many ideas and it is superbly heavy so then you want to reduce your time that you want to spend in editing your method so you you can use your chart map so, okay so you want to get an overview of the whole course on one big paper sequence so you need a proper big paper not a register one maybe bigger than that or maybe a register that you are following so it is important for you students so you just focus on that how it is being used in the classrooms now see this is the charting method you just check period this is the period 1941-45 and important FTR, important people, who were the important people in this period? I told you, this is uh, more used in history classes, social sciences classes and events World War II and then significance, USA involvement. So this is something I'm preparing a chart. Then next period, the teacher is talking, the next important people, next event next significance i'm going to add so this is the charting method of taking notes and students trust me if you are using the right method of charting method of note taking then your notes will be beautifully systematized nobody can stop you from learning or doing good from your uh, skills 
Now, there is another method that is sentence method. Yes, it is also a method which most of you write down. Write every new thought, fact or topic on a separate line. Whatever you are uh, hearing uh, during the class, write separate, separate lines and numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or A, B, C, G or A, B, S, A, D in Hindi, whatever you want to give the numbers, you just write down the sentence. These, this is also one of the method of sent, uh, note taking. And advantages, if we discuss, this is slightly more organized than the paragraph. In paragraph, uh, you have you have continuous six to seven lines, but in sentence you are actually giving numbers to your thoughts, to your facts, to your information, what your te teacher is teaching. So get more or all of the information thinking to tract content is still limited. So disadvantages are also there of sentence method. Can't determine major minor points from the numbered sequence. So this is something that uh, all the time in all type of lectures we cannot follow the sentence method because it is not possible that we are going to number each and every sentence and this is also not possible that whatever your teacher is telling and you are capable of uh, writing down each and every sentence without any pain so it is difficult also to edit after um the lecture without having to rewrite by clustering points which are related and it is also again disadvantages uh, included in that that uh, not possible to edit afterwards and you have to prepare another notes for that so difficult to review unless editing cleans up relationship so this is the sentence method and when we are going to use sentence method just understand you must use it when the lecture is somewhat organized but heavy with content which comes fast you can hear the different point students but you don't know how they fit together how they are actually connecting with each other so by that time what you are see when i know that there are three categories four categories in today's lecture and whatever the teacher is telling me i'm going to put that particular point in that particular category but when i'm not knowing that how the sequence is followed and how the category categorization is made so in that case sentence method is proper so the instructor tends to present in point fashion but not in grouping such as three related points which i have just told you now this is sentence method example see you can see uh, example one is given here uh, or the, maybe from a book a revision uh, is any occurrence that affects other aspects of life such as economic life social life and so forth therefore revolutions cause change now this is the uh, something that you have uh, seen from example now sample notes just write down revolution dash occurrence that affects the aspects of life eg econs so yes these are all abbreviation which i have taught you earlier so this is sentence method so uh, another example is here and now this is example three of sentence method so uh, there are so many examples of sentence method that you are going to write just sentences now these are some references students for your purpose that you can go through the references and you can study more about uh, the note taking process how it is done and how the notes are actually written and what are the methods why it's important and about abbreviations and how it is very very useful in uh, your research process dissertation process so students just keep on learning in a very final way and now there are some mcqs that we have to discuss about and now this is something that uh, i'm going to discuss and now students just see in order to take helpful notes during class it is important to understand your instructor instructor style of learning yes it is true and then secondly uh, we are talking about note taking should take place during class while reading textbook assignments in preparation for an exam all of the above yes the answer is all of the above then third question is related to if textbook assignments are boring the students uh, does not have to complete them no it is false even if the textbooks are boring you have to complete them you have to make proper uh, answers you have to do that in a good way 
So then fourth question, it is essential for students to take good notes during class because studies show that we forget 50% of what here immediately. Yes, it is correct. It is true. So all of you, I hope you will be writing good notes from today onwards. Fifth question is related to before a class begins. It is important to text your friends and let them know where you are. Okay, no, it is uh, surely not the answer. Review notes from reading assignments and previous lectures. Mentally prepare yourself by clearing your mind of any distractions, both B and C or none of the above. Yes, of course, the answers, uh, options given in B and C are the correct ones. So before the class begins, you must review your previous notes and you must prepare yourself mentally for clearing your mind for any distractions. Now, the sixth question is related to it is crucial that a student write down everything their instructor said during a lecture. Yes, of course. It is true. It is not possible that you will write down each and every word during your class lecture. So, it is true, of course. So, lecture notes should include a variety of information and uh, a variety of information of groups of people, vocabulary related to lecture topic, amounts, ratios, formulas, proportions. So, answer is, of course, all of the above. So this is about MCQs. Now students, I hope you have understood well and you will definitely understand well about it. And I am sure that you will be writing good notes uh, about uh, whatever you study and whatever you uh, study from your um, teachers and if you are reading a book you are definitely going to understand it okay so this was all from my side in today's lecture i uh, hope you have learned well all the best students keep learning well